हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड ऑल्सो वेलकम टू माई कूबन इंडीज प्ले लिस्ट सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डेट हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल इंजन एफ इंग्लिस कंट्रोलर इन दी ए डब्ल्यू एस ईके क्लस्टर ओके सो हेयर आई हेयर आई हैव क्रिएटेड दी स्मॉल डायग्राम वेयर यू कैन सी दैट इफ वी हैव एक्सटर्नल डोमेन विच इज कॉल ए बी सी डॉट कॉम एंड दैट ए बी सी डॉट कॉम इज इफ वी आर स्पेसिफिक इन पास स्लैश पिंग और स्लैश मैट्रिक्स that request is going to the one network load balancer okay and inside the network uh, load balancer it will go to the ingress controller config map uh, means we we are going to install the first controller and then controller that controller will help us to uh, uh, route the request to the specific service or or the pod okay by defining the ingress object so what is an ingress controller so ingress controller is an api object where we are defining the rules for routing the external http and https traffic to our kubernetes cluster and the load balancer will act as a reverse proxy okay so how it is working so first of all uh, to work with ingress controller first of all we have to install the ingress controller in our eks cluster and then we have to create the ingress object so if i go down uh, here i i i have created the one deployment and the one services we I, i have given the deployment name inside that we have we are using the mash labels then uh, i specify my image container port and that in the services i am referring that that deployment and this is the main part which we are going to see here that ingress object okay in the ingress object here i am passing the annotation the target type so what is target type the ip so ip means the request will direct uh, directly it will go to my uh pod level okay i will show you that what is the ip i will uh, show you after the uh, the deployment here i i have opened the the listener uh, uh, listener ports here i am specifying certified ara and and here i am specifying the port for the sl okay and this is the main thing where i am i am defining my host my path my services name so if if you can see my diagram you can see that here i mentioned slash ping or slash matrix if i go here you can see that in the slash uh, someone using slash matrix it will go to my this service okay so the main uh, the, the main good point is that uh, whenever we are creating the nginx uh, uh, object so the engine 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 controller is continuously monitoring the kubernetes ap server for changes to the ingress resources okay so let's uh, let's start with the demo so let's clone this uh, uh, clone this uh, repository and it is already uh, cloned my repository on my local laptop and you can see here i have three folder which is lesson 1 lesson 2 lesson 3 okay so lesson 1 uh, contains your uh, main uh, kubernetes code and we will add the nginx configuration code in the lesson 1 folder okay so let's copy from here uh, nginx.tf file and this is my yml configuration let's do terraform init uh it will download all my the plugins and the my data on inside the dot terrapa folder okay so you can see that all, what all the uh, module provider uh, we are using here okay uh, it will take few seconds so terraform in its successfully has been done okay so let's do a terraform plan so that we can review our configuration what we are going to deploy in the kubernetes cluster okay so let me scroll up so we can check about the from the plan that my one 
engine English controller installing via the helm uh, via the uh, terraform issues the helm so let's to apply Yeah, so Terra, uh, so by my engineer's English controller has been successfully installed, and uh, so that so let's see um, that uh, the pod has been created successfully or not. So let's do a uh, cube CTL get pods hyphen n and English hyphen engineer, and why we are passing the English hyphen engineer because we are installing the engineer's English controller in this namespace. Okay, let's do cube CTL get pods hyphen English, and you can see that one pod has been successfully deployed and one uh, pod is still deploying so it will take few seconds so we can see now both the pods are up and running okay now let's see the cube ctl uh, logs of the one pod yeah you can see that uh, we are not getting any error information it seems that uh, everything is working fine and uh, let's do kubectl get at vc hyphen and ingress hyphen nginx yeah you can see that one load balancer has been created and uh, in this uh, we are we are creating the one network load balancer so let's copy this Yes, you can see now it is not working um yeah so currently i can see that my load balancer is in the provisioning state so it will take few seconds and you can see from here that we have created the network load balancer now we can see after a few uh, uh one or two minutes we can see that our network load balancer is has been successfully created and state is active so let's now enter this one ha huh. So we can see that uh, we are getting the output code 404 which is non for and this is the uh, expected output okay and and you will receive the 404 not found and that means that uh, we have installed this successfully uh, ingress ingress controller okay now let's create the uh, nginx ingress uh, uh, let's create the one deployment one service and ingress object and so for that you can see my load balance has been created and you can see my one certif uh, one uh, I have the one ASIM certificate which is already created. So let me copy this here. Let's go to lesson two. Copy this one. Yeah. So let's change the uh, certificate ARN from here. Let's copy the certificate ARN and do uh, CTL apply hyphen F A dot YML file. So now you can see that our file has been successfully created. Now we will see a uh, cube CTL get uh, get pods. Yeah, so container is still is, is in the creation uh, creation mode. Uh, it will take the a uh, few seconds okay so meanwhile uh, we will configure this uh, host name with our load balancer ARN in the route 3 so let's go to the route 3 ARN here we will click here we will click here create record let's create here my app and uh, let's create the alias network load balancer let's choose the region which is Mumbai and here we are going to choose the load balancer 
let's click on the create record yeah so meanwhile our record has been successfully created and now we will see yeah now our pods are also uh, uh, up and running are uh, created as well we do keep secret svc yeah now service has been also created now we will see kubectl get ingress yeah so everything has been created now let's uh, hit this url or hit this dns oh you can see that currently i am getting the 503 service temporary unavailable okay then how we are going to troubleshoot this one okay so uh we will go here and uh, uh, we will see the uh, parts of so in this way we can troubleshoot it okay so we have to uh, see the logs of one part yeah so from here you can see that uh, yeah so here you can see that we are getting the error that called uh, no object matching for the default my app okay that service is not matching with it okay so let's go here ye yeah, see so in my um, uh, in my uh, ingress object i have uh, by mistake i have passed the my app so you can see that my uh, service name is called the uh, photo app okay so let's change this one and let's do y hyphen f perfect now we if we are now going to hit it let's see let's see yeah see now we are getting the different error which is known as the uh, uh, 503 error you can see if i go down can see yeah engine is reloaded yes perfect okay uh now you can see that still we are getting the 503 let's go and review our uh, see here i've done the mistake again we have to uh, give the proper naming convention yes Uh, we need to save it, then apply it. Yes, perfect. Now we can see that our um, uh, uh, ingress is working fine. So if I hitting the my app dot code develop dot cloud, I am getting the welcome to my automation world. And if I do slash ping, that is also working because these are the things which already are defined in my code level. Okay, and then if I do slash matrix. that is also working and if i do slash pong that is also working okay sorry ping okay now what we go and also do we can redo this one as well because if we have something around uh, 200 300 uh, slash then we don't have to define the every path here okay so we can define only one slash one and and if i hit here again slash ping you can see that's still working and it will work yes thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up up and subscribe to my channel for more great content or don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever i post a new video see you in the next one